Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I work in IT, so the first question, no, I will not fix your computer and they give you a manual for a reason. I forgot. I've forgotten my age because I've lost my birth certificate. So now I judge how old I am by going to the barbers and how long it takes them to cut my hair. I'm 85 seconds now. And they stop showing the back of my head and I've no idea why. Some mystery back there. But luckily I do know my own name. I was written in my underwear. It's Tesco. <laughs> Pause for laughs. So. so, I live in a tenement block and I've got neighbours. And I've got a neighbour who's an arsehole. I'm sure everyone here knows of arseholes. <laughs> Hopefully you know and then the actual audience there as well. Now with the, the arsehole, I've sort of been in IT, I experience them quite regularly, and I've discovered the, the secret of who, who an arsehole actually is. There's one item of clothing that they wear, and that one item distinguishes them, and that is a polo neck jumper. <laughs> And I'm kind of thinking, why a polo neck jumper? Surely an Hawaiian shirt is a far better choice for an arsehole. <laughs> so with the polo neck jumper, not a polo neck t-shirt that I'm kind of wearing at the moment, uh, I kind of figured it out, kind of thing. The, the process in the morning of squeezing your head through a polo neck jumper, see where I'm going here, <laughs> is very similar to taking that dump of the day and leasing a brown friend who has the decent courtesy of being flushed away as opposed to kind of like staying there and then talking to you while his computer's not working. <laughs> now I think that arseholes aren't actually born, they're selected. It's like the lottery, it's, it's you. Sorry, not actually you, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just a random person there. So I'm always fearful of going on my annual clothes, sh uh, clothes shopping trip, walking into a nice boutique Picking up a polo neck jumper and thinking, hey, that looks good. <laughs> or ever getting that present from my relatives or anyone in the audience. So, my arsehole neighbour, he always wakes up early in the morning and quite frankly makes a bloody noise. Jingling keys, banging dustbins, I think he's a real arsehole. <laughs> but I don't like waking up in the mornings, I want a nice way of waking up. And I've read about an uh, invention in America of a bacon cooking alarm clock. Oh, nice. uh, come on, we're in Scotland, come on. Now, I think a bacon cooking alarm clock is the best invention ever. But then it struck me, how would you hit snooze? Just go, shh, ah, my hand! <laughs> but it's better than Chris Moyles. <laughs> That's okay, okay. But I think he's missing a trick, because quite frankly, if you've got a bacon cooking alarm clock, you need a toast making machine into it, and I am brew dispenser. And if that was the case, I'd never leave my bed. Except I need someone to change my chamber pot. But then what else are girlfriends for? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Some arsehole neighbour as well. His dog, he's such an arsehole, his dog's stealing down. So he's hired a dog psychiatrist. And I'm thinking, what the hell's a dog gonna say to a dog psychiatrist? Psychiatrist. So, tell me about your parents. My mother was a bitch! <laughs> I'm in the last one as well. <laughs> so, I got up uh, nice and early for a hospital appointment and I decided to get there bright. And I'm always amazed by the NHS spend all our bloody money on inspirational posters like Do Not Die and We Can Cure Your Smoking, Take It Up Now, <laughs> just to justify their budget. So, I was in the hospital waiting room. I was basically across from the hearing aid department, uh, sitting in mining business, being inspired, and this old couple came in. High speed, of course. <coughs> and the guy was obviously deaf in both ears, seeing these large hearing aids. So his wife turns to him, just in front of the chairs. Sit down, dear. What? Sit down, dear. What? Not lowering your, not increasing your voice, not avoiding racing like that, not saying different things. Sit down, dear, pointing at the chair, caressing it in a gentle fashion. <laughs> what? At this point, I'm going to shoot him. Right. <clears throat> sit down, dear. Oh, sit down. Oh, okay. Sit down there. Now, as the fashion never changed the volume, that's not deaf. That's stupid. <laughs> I 
and that's possibly an NHS fault there, misdiagnosis. So, so she goes happily off to the reception, he's winding, his, winding himself, happy as Larry, dee 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 dee. And she comes back and says, uh, they need your hearing aids. What? They need your hearing aids. Pointing at his ears, caressing his lobes. <laughs> what? We need to hear hearing aids. Again, not changing volume or anything like that. What? <laughs> I wanted to slap him, I really did. We need your hearing aids. Oh, my hearing aids. Oh, no problem at all. There you go. And again, happy as Larry. So she was off to reception and he, he gets up and he starts moving. Fair rate of knots this guy's going now. And just as he's at the door, the receptionist points in a quality cinematic escape. He's escaping! <laughs> at which point you could hear, oh, bugger. <laughs> and then his wife kind of turns around, grabs him, and, and ushers him back to the seats. And unfortunately, I missed the rest of it there. I'm sure it was a camaraderie of cavalcade there. And so I went to the doctor, and the doctor said, right. You're pretty okay, but you're gonna change your diet. <laughs> really? Yeah, you need to eat less crisps, but more pies. Again, Scottish NHS for you. <clears throat> and it reminded me again of a story I read about a woman who only eats beef flavoured monster munch. She lives off this stuff. And I'm going, if you're going to eat a beef flavoured crisp, surely McCoy's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but then I'm thinking, she also had a husband. But tragically, he's passed on. He didn't survive pickled onion. <laughs> but then I'm also thinking that her whole life revolves around crisps. Whole life. As a child, she played with hula hoops. <laughs> She's got a son who probably plays with Space Raiders or Transformer Snack, if you remember those things. Her favourite brand of jumper is Pringles. <laughs> but she's a big fan of cheesy balls. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And